What's up, gang? Matt McCoy, country song teacher. I hope you're doing well. I had someone ask me, what is the best way to learn guitar? So let's say you know someone, they've thought about learning, they went to a concert, maybe a church service, heard some cool songs, they thought, I want to learn guitar. So what? just a general question, what's the best way? One of the mistakes I think I made early on is I thought the more chords you knew, the better you were. So if you knew three chords, you were level three, and you learned 10 chords, you're level five. 20 chords, a level seven bar chord, and so forth. And I think if I had to do over, at least for my style, the way I am, I wanted to learn the very, very basics that could have me playing the most songs the fastest. Because what I, I'm a big believer of this with anything in life as a teacher. If you can get someone seeing some sort of success faster they're more apt to stick with it and feel good about it and be confident, that kind of thing. So, for example, y'all know I have the Matt McCoy four chords. If you're new to this channel, G, C, E minor, and D. The way I play those, I lock in the two bottom strings. So the pinky fingers in the bottom string, the ring fingers in the second string, all of the third fret. Remember, each of these squares is called fret. All of the third fret. You play the fifth string of the second fret and the top string. That's a G chord. When I say a C chord, it's actually a C add nine. You just slide those top two fingers down. So that's your first two chord changes. G for four, then slide it down, play the bottom five, C for four. Your third chord I would learn is a D chord. Again, keeping these bottom three, these bottom two strings is gonna lock, it's gonna help you stabilize it. Press that third string, and show the bottom four. So there's your three chords to start out with. I'm gonna be somebody. So that, that, that Travis Tritt song, I'm gonna be somebody. Again, locking the two bottom strings, it's two G's. Slide your top two fingers down each string, two C's. Slide the first finger down to the third string, and four, four D's. So it's teaching you basic down strums. It's teaching you to listen for the chord change, a pattern with the song. I'm gonna be somebody. Three, four, start over. One of these days I'm gonna break these chains. Start over. I'm gonna be somebody someday. So, right, that last chord, for example, is an E minor. If you're new, maybe you can even skip that. What I'd, you can use two fingers to press the fifth and fourth string in the second fret, or or use one finger, press right between the fifth and fourth string, strum off six. That's gonna be your most difficult chord of these three, of these four. So start out with just set the G, slide down to C, slide down to D, and then this E minor, you press two strings with one finger. So. But again, you're, before you start doing the fancy up strums and bar chords and all these other things, you wanna get basic, basic chords that's the fastest way I think to learn. Learn basic chords, just do down strums and listen for the timing. Like how long am I gonna play this chord until it's time to go to a new chord. Always know you keep the music flowing even while you're changing chords. So many people think that you gotta sit there. Switch, switch. You need to be, what you're trying to get your brain to do with your right hand, it's keeping the steady flow of the song. Your left hand, you're, you're changing the sound of the guitar, the chord changes, so. I'm gonna be somebody. One of these days I'm gonna break these chains. I'm gonna be somebody someday. You might, let's see. Get your heart a dollar So once you get that down, I'm gonna be so might, you might slowly add it up strum. So down, down, up, down, up, then switch it down, down, up, down, up, D, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. You got you a few chord changes, even they sound a little muffled, you're just fighting through those, trying to get the chord clarity, trying to get them to sound good. But your right hand's like that drum, and you're keeping that straight. I'm gonna be somebody. One of these days I'm gonna make this change. I'm gonna be somebody someday. Get you Good old J 
get up there, guys. So I thought I would quickly jump on here. People say, how should you learn guitar? Learn your G chord. Learn the C add nine. I call it a C, but a C add nine. Learn that version of a D chord. Master those. So like I said, you get smile on your face. Let's me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes. So all I'm doing for that song, for example, Keith Whitley, when you say nothing at all, is going G, down to D. Up to C, back to D. Let's start over. G, smile on your face. Let's me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes. Seeing you never leave me. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me. If ever I fall. So, forth. so that's a quick little review of how I'd learn guitar if I was a beginner with no music experience. Remember the bottom string is the first one, the top's the sixth. Each of these little squares is called a fret. So remember if you say the bottom string or the first string, first fret would be right here, the fifth string of the second fret would be right here, so forth. So once you learn kind of the string numbers or names, six, five, four, three, two, one, you understand the frets, you learn how to make chords, you do basic down strums, to get the timing down, and then, and then you slowly understand what what how long do you stay on each chord? What's the timing? Then you maybe every now and then add an up strum. You might can get where you do a palm mute. So. I'm gonna be somebody. That's where you take your your hand, you kind of mute the strings. One of these days I'm gonna break these chains. I'm gonna and so forth. If you want more resources, guys, head out. My, have a, head, blah, 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 blah. That's a tongue twister. Who's my editor? Cut that out. Head over to my website, uh, countrysongteacher.com. All one word. I've got strumming courses, four chord song books. If you just know those four, prime country, Morgan Wild Oak Combs, all kinds of stuff. So go to countrysongteacher.com and you'll check out. You can see all my stuff. Thank you all so much. I love you. Until next time, share this video with someone you know that possibly would like to learn guitar. Let's keep the joy of music going around. Let's go.